This might be your new hidden weapon for efficient and stunning designs. Welcome to the iCity 1.3 tutorial. This is Hudayfa Smer. In this video, I will show you how to use the latest version to enhance your workflow, as well as I will be covering all the key features of the latest update. So let's start. The first thing that I want to mention is modeling and layout. iCity uses Blender's core modeling tools allowing simple edges to be to automatically become a street and vertices to become intersections and faces to become blocks etc multiple block types are available like grid towers taras parking or none each offering unique options so you can add your personal creative touches I want also to remind you to use the best modeling tool that fits your workflow, like knife tool or extruding or subdividing and so on. It is so important and crucial to understand how to use the selection modes inside the edit mode. So for example, the fit selection mode is essential for editing block types and attributes and its heights. And the edge selection mode is ideal for adjusting street elements such as props, prop types or street width etc. Vertex selection mode is useful for modifying intersection settings like converting intersections into roundabouts. I want also to mention that we provided notes in each section to remind you which selection mode will allow you to do the edits. And here I will mention the new pattern based adjustment system for the grid buildings. Now you can adjust the offset x and the offset y and you can also rotate the pattern that shapes the buildings. We made also some improvements in the optimization. Currently, the light mode is designed for quick and real-time previews of your city layout. You typically use the light mode during the initial stages of modeling when you want to rapidly adjust and visualize the overall design without waiting for the full detail rendering. This mode uses faster approximation techniques for tiling and shaping, so you get an immediate sense of the layout. And when you are ready to fine tune your scene, you can just turn it off and get all the details back. The culling feature is essential for optimizing your scene by managing how details are displayed. Using the edit culling mode, you can define the culling box automatically or you can model it. So you can define exactly where you want elements or find details outside the culling box are either completely removed or replaced with low poly version. This is not only preserved the overall shape and the design city but significantly improves the performance by reducing the processing load. We suggest you to adjust the culling box while you are in the light mood to maintain the performance. And the last thing that we made for the optimization is a viewport and render options for assets. This feature simply gives you the control which assets appear in viewport or render and that might improve the overall performance. For the materials, in the road materials section you can modify materials for street, curbs and sidewalks. Choose from the variety of attractive materials that best fit your design and test them immediately using the assign previews function. Imperfections will allow you to add more details and realism for your cityscape. You can modify it using the sliders that in this section to modify where you have it and the density of each type of the imperfections. And the witness feature is a very important new feature that we added in this current release. This will allow you to adjust the witness level. For example, 100% for fully wet with reflections, 50% for partially wet or 0% for dry look. It's a standout feature that can significantly enhances realism, making your city designs more dynamic and visually appealing, and you will thank us for that. Beautiful new tower models have been added with improved tiling details, complemented by a dedicated parking and attractive landscape for the towers. The system now also treats the tower type based on the logical size of the land, so if you increase the size of the land too much, it will automatically transfer to a tower block type with multiple towers instead of one. You can also use the seed to generate multiple variations. The Taras blocks represents a specific type of building structure that you can modify using Blender's natural modeling tools. By default, the house type and the materials are random. 
You can manually override these defaults to choose the style, detached, semi-detached, or attached, or the materials. You can modify that relying on the edges. Additionally, you can select a preferred material seed, which can be reused across multiple areas for consistency. And you have full control over the assets inside each block, enabling you to tailor the overall look of the block. For the ICT lights, I will talk about the overall lighting control. ICT lights allow allows you to manage both the general illumination of your entire city and detailed lighting for individual sections. The night mood button will toggle the lights of the entire city and buildings. You can also adjust the specific lighting types such as building lights, sidewalk lights, towers lights, towers parking lights, and terrace lights. And here we need to mention that the first version of the parallax rooms has been introduced for all building types, terrace, towers, grid, etc. You can also adjust the lighting for this room using the same parameters. For the export, to manage city scale projects efficiently, we now support only GLTF or GLB export. This avoids converting every element to full geometry, which would be too heavy. And instead of that, we use instance-based export method. Our new approach converts the city into instances. This method prevents the instancing system and prevents data duplication and maintains the overall optimization for the city. And we made sure the foundation for each texture can be now ex fully exportable, ensuring your visual elements remain consistent and optimized when exported. If you are interested in a full deep dive video for the exporting, please comment below if you are interested in that. Don't forget to share your art with us on the Discord community, as we will be featuring some of your artworks on our pages mentioning the artist. Don't forget to like and subscribe and drop your feedback in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next time.